Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make uh, a horn using implements that you find in your garden. Uh, this is a length of post pipe. I'm going to measure about so much, all about 12 feet. So um, reckon that's about it. So I'm going to cut it with some garden shears like this. I've got 12 feet of garden hose. I'm about six feet, and that's about twice my height. So we're there. Um, but it's a bit of a nuisance to carry something like this around. Um, in the old days they would actually take them on horseback so it would be a real nuisance. So they're generally curled up so I'm going to curl this one up. And just to make it secure I'm going to gaffer tape it into that shape. Okay, so that's a, a length of curled up tubing, and you can actually make a note on that as a, if you know how as a horn player. So that does make a note by just buzzing my lips the way I play the horn, but the end of it is really small and uh, feels a bit uncomfortable and a bit unstable. So um, we can expand the end a bit using the bit that fixes the hose onto the tap and this is what I made earlier and then as you see that's got that screw bit that goes onto the tap and then it's much easier to play now I've decided to see what it's like to use um, a sprinkler on the end of a um, which goes on the end of a watering can see if that makes a difference to the sound See, that amplifies the sound a little bit. So that's a whole horn made out of things that you find in the garden. Try some uh, ordinary household funnels. I've got three different ones here. See what effect they have. Try this little one first. So that sounds like that. Try this slightly bigger one. biggest one, this has to go sort of outside the tubing because it's got a big opening here. Interesting on that, it really mellows the sound out and that's why in the horn you do have a, quite a big bell because it makes the sound a bit less raucous. So something I just discovered this morning actually was um, if I use this smaller funnel again I can do something very strange. In all the music I've played so far I, I have I've just used the natural harmonics of the, of the tubing. You can play lots of nice tunes like that but when it came to sort of Haydn and Mozart time the horn player started putting their hand inside the bell and that was partly to soften the sound of it but also you could change the notes by wiggling your hand around in the bell and I can do the same with a funnel it's a bit small for my hand but it, instead of using my whole hand which is called hand horn technique I've developed this morning a thing called finger horn technique and hope I can get this to work sort of 
How am I going to do this? Oh yeah, there, there we are. So, so the couple of normal notes I can get. I'm not really using my finger yet. And that's what we use, that's what the, all the classical composers use, this technique of using the hand in the bell to get some extra notes. Uh -huh. 